What's up? It's nice to meet you. I'm the real deal. What's your name? I stay moving mountains. Got these haters in the way. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I highly encourage you to subscribe, turn on that notification bell. Hey, there goes my neighbor. And please give the video a thumbs up so other people can see the video. Yo, this is just kind of dope. And of course, I'm a Hurricane fan because, you know. <sighs> Anyways, uh, in today's video, uh, I purchased this little bad boy. And yeah, it kind of looks like a Nintendo. Yo, what's up with all these neighbors just like stopping by my house? Anyways, um, so I went ahead and bought the third generation Focusrite audio interface. So today what we're going to do is we are going to connect it to the computer. Uh, AKA we're going to plug it in and we're going to connect it to Ableton Live. We're like, hey, what's up? I got a new friend for you. And yeah, we're going to make a beat because that's what we do. Let's get it. And so there's not much to this at all, uh, considering the fact that the box had no instructions. I'm going to show you what the box has. You are Okay, so uh, this is the box it came in, and uh, yeah, it's just like, Sega, uh, this this is literally the instructions. That's all it says, it says plug it in, and then, yeah, that's it. Yeah, let's plug it into my computer. So it has like a USB-C cable that I already plugged into the computer, and then all you have to do, supposedly, is just uh, plug it in, plug it in. Y'all know that reference, you're too young. Holy fuck nuggets. We're going to set it right here. I like to clutter this section because this is the section where I write. There's also the section where I eat. And I told myself I'm eating in the studio, but I set the rules. I can break the rules. We just opened up Ableton, and these colors bother me, but we have business to get to. So we're going to click on options. Uh, I have a PC. If you have a Mac, you probably say something else. I don't know. You tell me. Uh, preferences. And once op preferences open up, uh, okay, cool. Look, so it all automatically detected it and uh, audio output device is the uh, Scarlett Solo and the microphone apparently is a Scarlett Solo. So we have that set up and uh, here's a fun fact. When I make music and I work on my beats and shit, because I don't live alone, I live with the Brady Brunch. I live with the Brady Bunch, you know, like, interesting, you know, uh, full house style. Uh, I feel like it's kind of disrespectful for me to have like fucking monitors on if I haven't treated my room yet Especially because like I usually make music at like 1 in the morning when I come home from work or when I can't sleep So what I do is I use my headphones when I make my beats And then so we're gonna plug this and see if it might work Boom it works I don't really use monitors. I have, I don't have monitors, as you can see. You guys are probably like, yo, where's the music coming from? Uh, so when I have my laptop, I use the laptop speakers, and I usually use my headphones. But when I'm recording, and like I want to hear it out loud, there's the dog scratching at the door. We're not gonna let him in. Um, I use actually this little speaker, so y'all can hear it. Uh, so yeah. Ta-da! Tools of the trade. So we have our melody. Can you believe we did our melody before the drum pattern? Mind blow. Uh, it happens sometimes, it happens. You know what I'm saying? The thing about beats is that sometimes you just have to keep it like as simple as possible, you know what I mean? So like, eh. I kinda wanna get like 
Okay, so um, I think the beat's pretty much done. Just gotta like amplify it. Like I said, today's day 16 of the 30 day beat making challenge. We're halfway there. We're a little more than halfway there. We're like 51% there. And that's pretty cool. There goes my neighbor again. Yo, where are you going? It's been like five minutes. Anyways, here's the beat. Fun day, right? We uh, installed the Focus Right, uh, the Scarlet Audio Focus Right audio interface. Blah, 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 blah. It's a lot of words, man. It's a lot of words. What does the bo box say? The Scarlet Solo, third generation, two in two out USB audio interface. Uh, we're gonna stick to the red Nintendo. Anyways, um, somebody left a comment in one of my videos, and they were just like, "Oh, you know, I'm just trying to get better. Like, you have any tips?" And like coming from a professional, I'm not a professional at all. Uh, coming from someone that's up on the grind, you know, an aspiring musician, aspiring music producer, whatever you want to call me. Like I'm, I'm, like, I'm in my baby growing stages, you know. Like I'm, a, I'm a baby right now. Like I'm, I'm learning how to crawl, learning how to walk. I'm being potty trained when it comes to this music production thing. Like I'm still very new to the game, you know. But the only advice I can give to any and all of you. Is that the the only way, the best way to get better at making beats and making music is to keep practicing and making beats and making music. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to jump on this 30 day beat making challenge because it gives me like that push, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, okay, well, I have to make another beat today. I have to make another beat today. But the only way you're going to get better is if you keep doing it. It's the same thing as driving. It's the same thing as cooking. It's the same thing as like anything you do in life. Day one, you suck at it. You know, some people are like savants. But like for me, like I sucked at it. Like I remember the first time I tried drumming on my keyboard, my uh, my MIDI keyboard. And I was just like. Tss, 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 tss. I was like. Pff, tss, pff, tss. I was like, why does it sound so bad? Like I know what a beat sounds like. And then like I shit you not when I first started making beats. You guys can go back like to like like the first couple of videos I made last year. But there are times where like I'd be making a beat and I'm just like, this is terrible. I was like, it's not even in rhythm. I was like, how do I get in rhythm? And then like, oh, the metronome to keep to keep you in tempo. So yeah, uh, it's gonna be it for today's video. Like I said, just keep going, keep going, keep going. For those of you that are interested in signing up for the 30 day beat making challenge, you don't have to sign up, just start making beats and just start documenting day one, day two, day, all the way to day 30. I'm already on day 16 and I didn't think I was gonna be capable of making one beat a day. But I'll be honest with you, I've actually made 18 beats. Can you believe it? Like I literally went on a dry spell where I wouldn't make a beat for like two weeks. And the fact that I've made 18 beats in 16 days, like the month ain't even over yet, son. And I'm already 18 beats deep. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And like I said, don't sleep on me. Peace. I love y'all.